All right, here is our next uh, thing that we're going to do. It is a cute little table radio here from back in the back in the 30s. And I got it for five dollars or something. Very, very low price. And um, it's in reasonable condition. You know, it has damage. You know, like we're missing a little piece of this and we're missing one at the top and a little place there. So we'll make those up. Add other pieces of wood. It's not any big deal. Uh, we're also, we're missing bezel and bezel. We're going to have to do something about that. I have, okay, I've got the one that goes here. It's in bad shape. So we're going to remake that. Um, I'm going to make them out of brass this time. You know, instead of, this is made out of um, celluloid. And uh, so I'm going to make them out of brass so that they'll be uh, a little bit more uh, flashy looking. Okay, the internal guts are in pretty good condition. You know, just looking at it, I don't see anything terribly wrong with it. I mean, it's a little bit... Let's see. Yeah, it's got little places where things are abraded and stuff, but nothing that's going to kill it. Okay, somebody has already worked on this radio, and they've replaced some capacitors and um, stuff like that. I see one two. I, there's one down under there. So there's two capacitors that are still there that we'll take care of. Alright, let's go ahead and take care of those first. We have a .05 that goes Okay, to the chassis. Let's see. Okay. Okay, now that takes care of all of that. Now we've got these have all been replaced. They're good. I've got one more. <laughs> I'll pull this off. <clears throat> thing has got a uh, band around it. I'm going to have to get in there and cut that band. Let's see, can I get in there? Alright. We've got one of them. 
going to here. And I've got one of them. Okay, that one there goes to ground. Now I can cut that out of there. See if it has a value on it. They were using a um, capacitance bridge. I mean, this thing can measure capacitors that have leakage. It can separate the resistance from the capacitance and give you an accurate reading. So we're reading a 0 0.03 on the big one and a um, 160 picofarads on the small one. It has 145. Come on. All right, come on. It's 157 picofarads on that one, and Seventy nanofarads. Okay, seventy. That would be a point oh seven. Okay, so this is a little bigger. Okay, that's a bypass, and the other one is very small. Okay. All right. I interesting in instrument. This will check um, Q, capacitance and resistance, impedance from. It, it, it starts off at 10 kilohertz and goes up to 10 megahertz. You, know, you can set the frequency that you do the Q me measuring on. You, know, you get these cheap ones, these little handheld cheapos, and usually they're 10 kilohertz or they're 100 kilohertz or something like that, and that's all you get. But this one here, you can set the frequency and you get a real reading. I mean, some of those handheld ones, you know, the reading is you know, a random number generator. All right, um, so we know what we need here. That one capacitor is deceptive. See, the one that goes from here to here is deceptive. That's a small one, okay? But the one that goes here, and it makes sense, is a big one, okay? That is a point oh, um, oh 006, okay? I'm going to cut that down inside there. Okay. It's our, now we need a 100 and, um, 150 pico to go there.
That takes care of that. Okay, we have no more condensers in here that need changing. They're all, all the condensers have now been changed. Okay. All right, that gets whole thing done. Okay, this is the antenna connection here. Basically, we are ready to plug it in and see what happens. Okay. Now we got a switch here. It's the short wave versus normal broadcast. And I have no idea what the short wave is. Reading 15, it should be 25. Okay, that's, you know, these resistors can be a bunch off, but when you're two to one, it's best to replace the darn thing. If it's off by 10,000 out of 50,000 or 25,000, you know, that's not going to hurt anything. But when you've got it, See, this one is 30K, it's supposed to be, and it's reading 50. So it's almost 2 to 1. Okay. Let's see if we can find a, another period resistor here. I'm, I haven't done it with a capacitor, so... I, okay, 30K. That's 300. Okay, what about this one here? Oh. That looks like a 33K. Good, 33K. Isn't that nice? Is that correct? Okay. Yeah. Hell, I was about to solder it to the two pin sticking through there. <laughs> well, that'd be a good one. Now we should have some semblance of luck. Okay. Power. <laughs> I don't see shit. <laughs> oh god. Oh. Oh, come on. All right, let's see. Times one. Let's see what we get. Hell, I put the tube back in, didn't I? Yeah. Okay, we're getting reading to there. Okay. Okay. That's good. One more over here. Okay, let's see. 
I guarantee you they're all going to be good. We got it hooked up wrong somehow. Okay, they're all good. Now, uh, there. Oh boy. Not good. Okay. okay. This line cord has got a resistor built into the line cord. We're not seeing a connection. Not seeing a connection. What that means is that that line cord resistance has um, opened up somehow. I very carefully checked that. And it was definitely doing good. All right, what I want to do is clip put wires on here. There's one end of it, and here's the other. I will flex it. I will flex it. And look for look for it to uh, change. Any connection, any connection at all. Okay, we may be out of luck. Uh, this is a replacement resistance line cord. It's it's not an antique, so I should not be having trouble with it. Okay. Okay, now this end is terminated good. It has to be up here. Okay, see this is the one that, that's the uh, resistance element. All right, I'm going to go ahead and get the shrink tubing. I have shrink tubing over it just like the other one. Okay, now I can see the, the wire right there. It's connected. It's connected. It's no good. Down inside the wire somewhere. Down inside the uh, the length. All right, I'm gonna get it out of here so I can do a little better. Well, that that blows up the hell. Ha ha ha! <laughs> I know why the guy sold it for five bucks now. He sold it for five bucks because this cord went bad. And he just said, oh, hell with it. <laughs> oh, heck. He probably thought he was so close to having that radio going, and then the cord went bad, and he had no way to light the filaments. Oh, yeah. is not damaged in any way whatsoever so that it has to be burned out literally it had to burn out somehow so I suspect incompetence all right this one we tested and we know it's good it is not there See, I can get to the I can get to the wire here, the fine wire, and I can see that my connection is good onto that fine wire. So it's going on up into here where the break is. That means that the break is somewhere in the length because we know this one's good too. I'm going to try wiggling it and just see if I can get. I've measured this before and it was measuring, so it's very close to being working. I mean, it just if I can find the place where the break is, then I can splice it. Okay. All right. Uh, 
Um, could be right in there. I'm just going to cut. Cut back. Okay, here we go. I do have an original resistance line cord. I've got one of these cords that's original, but I hate to use a a 90-year-old um, cord on the radio. I mean, you know, it, it's <laughs> this is a replacement. It's new. It's made probably in the 80s, so it's 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 nice, fresh, firm insulation. But uh, that that old one I've got, that's an original, and uh, you know, I guess this radio is as good as any to use it on. Okay, now, okay, if I connect to here, and I look right here, no. Okay, I'm not getting any connection. All right, I'm going to uncover more of it. Not getting a connection. What little kitty? What little kitty? What little baby? You got your baby there. Uh, she wants loving or something. Okay, I do not see. There's no connection from here. To here, so that one is bad. I'm going to cut it off of there. Okay. Okay, got connection on there. Okay, if I get over here, we've got nothing. All right, I'm going to cut this one back. Could be right there. We'll take this one. Okay. Okay, and we'll get to here. Nothing. That was not connected. What the hell? Come on, read. No, it's not reading. It's not reading. All right, I'm gonna peel it back a little bit more, and then I'm gonna say it's down in the in the thing somewhere. What do you want, little baby? Oh, you kitty. Oh, you little kitty. Uh, come. Come. Yeah. You want to be lifted, huh? Come. Come. Here. Yes. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Here. Here. Grin at everybody in the camera. Just... Yeah. Come on, down on the floor. Get time for her lunch. Okay, what I'm going to do, I can cut a couple feet off of it. I'm going to cut, yeah. cut there, and we'll cut here.
Okay. Okay, got connection. Now I'll go to this end. Okay. Pull that. Okay, there's the wire right there. Nope. Yeah, I got it. Got it. Okay, I've got connection now from one end to the other. Okay. All right, we still have enough cord here to be okay on radio. Okay, now here's one we've got terminated. Okay, got the fresh wire pulled out of there and um, heat shrunk and a connection onto the fine wire. And if I measure it with the ohmmeter, we've got connection. All right. And these two go to the tube. All right, now we have to do the other end, and that's going to go onto the cord. I mean, onto the plug. Okay, first I have to get. It's just asbestos fiber is what it's made out of. See, it's asbestos, and um, it, it just pulverizes. Okay. There we go. Okay. Now, we put that on there. Okay, that gets us our three wires. Now I'm going to put glue on there so that we don't um, unravel anymore. See, this just saturates the fiber with glue, and that hardens. This is this is just a uh, plastic cement, just cheap plastic cement. Use it for making uh, model airplanes and stuff. Okay dries quick and it holds that uh, holds that covering from unraveling. Okay, the next thing we have to do Okay. Now these two have to go together. Okay. Okay. Now, what I have to do, get a connection from there onto there. We do that slightly differently. We got some hair fine wire here. This is hair fine silver wire. Okay, that's going to do it. Okay, I'm going to take, this is the fine wire from the other end, and okay, oops, that came off here. I was going to say, we can't have. Okay, we've got connection yet. 
Now, I'm going to take this one here and this one here. And we'll wrap this hair fine wire around it. See how that's wrapped around the um, resistance wire and the, uh, the main conductor. And if I measure, we've got connection. Okay, so that is going to go into the plug and get, get connected to uh, one of the screws. Okay, now we do the other one. Yeah. See, by wrapping many turns of this fine wire, this, this hair fine wire around here, we get multiple connections to the internal wire, to the resistance wire. We want those multiple connections so that we don't have, um, have a one connection break. Because if, if the connection breaks, it'll arc, and that burns the wire, and then you're, you're done. It, the, the, um, the cord will open up, and you're out of luck. Okay, that gets our two ends. Now, okay, Okay, and that gets our cord. And if I measure, got connection, there we go. Okay, so that gives us a resistance line cord ready to install into the radio itself. Alright, we've got us a good cord now. We'll go ahead and put it in the radio. Okay, the filament goes to this one. Okay, that will go here. All right, I need another piece of um, piece of tubing. situation here. Okay, that's that's not gonna not gonna be satisfactory. Alright, I'm gonna use some of this stuff to to seal this right here. I've got a place where the um, the insulation is cracking. Technically I should can. Okay, the wire is very easy to replace. So I'm going to replace the wire rather than um, just just put a piece of, piece of junk in there.
Okey-dokey. That gets our power. Now, if I measure here, I should see continuity. <laughs> okay. This piece of here goes up here to protect all of it. Okay. All right. Let's plug her in. All right, now let's see if we get something happening. <laughs> okay, it's reading 34 watts on the watt meter, which is correct. You can't sit there. Oh, what do I do? Oh, cat. Stop making a nuisance of yourself. Where am I going to sit? How am I going to work on the radio if you're going to sit in my chair? Alright. Some distortion. That coil is good. Screwed there. Put a little glue on there to just hold it. Okay. Come on, Venus to the Bureau, knowing it wasn't true. So the reason why they're trying to cover their tracks and they're doing a pretty good communication. All right, that's good enough. Good enough. Okay. Next, we got to do the um, the box. Okay. Okay. We've got several things that we have to do. One of them, we have to make these uh, bezels. Okay. Okay. This one here, um, I'm going to remake. Okay. First, I have to make up a decal. I'm going to make a decal that has this this layout. Okay, we'll scan it in the computer and then we'll duplicate it, make a decal. All right. God, I got rid of that. I want to get that full, full screen edit and full screen preview. I want to just Okay, the first thing I've got to do, we've got a missing piece of strip here and a missing piece of strip here. So I've got to make another piece of that um, to replace it. Okay, so I need a piece of wood, and then we just take it and run it on the table saw and make it up. Okay, let me see what I can find. It might be better to do it with the router. Okay, now that gets us a fence. So we got the blade right there, and we're just going to take it and run it just right along like so. All right, now let's see if I can get this going here.
we've got one to go right here and one going the other side they look just just right I mean it's so close it's really amazing okay I got one there and I got one to go here okay Lead. Lead. <laughs> oh, yeah. All right, now we'll let those harden, and then we're going to sand the whole box. All right, it's been overnight. Oh, yeah. All right, that's perfect. See, that gets our uh, strips. Okay, next thing we have to do, the front is eaten up. So we're going to have to um, going to have to get the uh, the finish off of the front. Okay. Now I've got lacquer thinner, and we're just going to go over this panel and liquidate. Full of dirt. All right, that looks real good. Okay, that gets our uh, gets the surface completely uh, cleaned of the old lacquer. Now we've got a few little places here where we have to glue. <clears throat> I got one place right here. All right, that's all solid. Okay, we'll let that harden. This side over here. Just looking for any place that's loose. Get right across there. This should be dry. It's been a couple hours. Looks good. Okay. So all the wood is now satisfactory. The next thing to do, we need filler, and we're going to fill all of the bad places. This is a neat little radio for collecting. It's not a particularly high-end radio, that's for sure. 
but it does have a smallness to it. It's, it's hard to find small ones like this that are in this age category. We'll sand it all afterwards to get it just right. Okay. I think it's our bezel. Okay, this is just cheap Minmax dark walnut. That's what we're going to make it. Ooh, that's going to look beautiful. That is going to look beautiful.
The original was a kind of a blonde stain. I, I don't like blonde. Blonde is okay for a girl's hair, but not for a radio. That looks very, very good. Okie doke. All right, I'm going to put it out in the sun to dry. All right, we got it all dried overnight. Now we're going to go ahead and lacquer it. Okay, and the length will go here. Okay. Okay, I'm going to go spray it with the um, glue, and then I'll be right back. All right, I sprayed contact cement down in there. Now we have to put this in there. Okay. Hmm. This sticks. Okay, I'm going to stick it, stick it on one side, and then pull tight. Now, I have to go and punch that hole out and punch that out, okay? All right, there's the uh, grill cloth put in there.
actually fits. <laughs> it fits. Okay. All right, that's got it. <clears throat> okay, now, we've got a little problem here. We've got a switch. This switches between um, short wave and other. There's no short wave on this thing, so um, we'll whack that off of there. That gets that switch. See, this chassis is hot, so we don't want it exposed. I'm going to make a cardboard back to go on here. We don't want that switch sticking out there because it's going to shock people. I've got to go right through the center. Okay, let me guess our hole. Okay. Now that gets the um, gets the bezels. Well, there it is. That looks absolutely gorgeous. Um, works everything. Okay, let's turn it on. Okay. See that it works. All right, that's it. That's it.